Welcome to Valdestat's Gig News of the Week Comedic Edition, because you need a little bit of comedy after what these gig apps do to us drivers. The top story tonight is McDonald's Dave Tovar joins Grubhub as comms head. Right, just what they need, a McDonald's clown. I guess head bozo Matt Maloney needed a sidekick, but Ronald wasn't around to poach. How will this crusty knockoff help Grubhub from being in last place, though? Speaking of poaching, Instacart hires former Facebook executive Carolyn Everson weeks after poaching Fiji Simo as CEO. So Instacart wants to increase their social media toxicity by hiring a person overseeing a quote-unquote plethora of divisions that include advertising, partnerships, and policy and legal areas. Really? Have you seen the gig app Facebook posts? This is going to make January 6th look like a day at the petting zoo, people. But hey, who's trying to get into the grocery game, people? It's your driver, Bestie for Life, DoorDash. They're in talks to invest in a German grocery app called Gorillas. Yep, you got that right. Gorillas. The only gorilla in the room will be who's the best at tip hiding pay from their drivers. Taking all bets from commenters below. But wait, DP sent this story to me today. No lewd innuendos, folks. Those are his initials, and we run a clean ship here, so stop laughing. We got a two-for-one special on DoorDash. They're also providing incentives to get 35% off two orders this week if customers go get their own food. When customers order using the DoorDash app and pick up their own orders from the restaurants, they will get 35% off two orders. What a deal. Save money and screw drivers at the same time. Guess drivers will go hungry this week. Break out the ramen and pork and beans, people. But hey, why screw drivers when they can go against their restaurant partners too with DoorDash Kitchens? That's right, they now have the pleasure of making new restaurant owners into their own personal indentured servants. Charge them up to 50% of a restaurant's revenue by giving them a place to call their own. Service fees are also not included as part of this deal. By the way, it was a three for one special. My math isn't so great as I go into old age. And finally, the what the f moment of the week an uber eats artificial intelligence facial recognition program can now be considered a racist that's right a driver named get this abiodun Ogunyemi got terminated by uber eats after failing its facial recognition software check uber's facial recognition software named the real-time id system and made by microsoft had failed to recognize them. This triggers the company's safeguarding protocols, which stops people other than the drivers themselves using an account and terminated his profile. Here's more. There is zero recourse. Ogan Yumi is one of hundreds of couriers and private hire drivers of which the majority are people of color who say they've been unfairly fired by an algorithm. Dang, folks, that's something that would make the Proud Boys prouder and David Duke well up in tears. But wait, that would mean he would actually have a soul then. Nah, forget I said that. But in all seriousness, what the F, Uber? No recourse? Are you serious? Are you trying to compete with DoorDash for the crown of driver unfairness now? <sighs> so these are the stories of the week in less than 10 minutes. Hit that like and subscribe button, people. V out.